Hey gang, Tony here with another Halloween inspired video. It's um it's a little a little on the early side here and um I hate to break the challenge or lose the challenge or break the vow so early on, but uh I drank a lot of beer last night at my early autumnal equinox bonfire party thing and I just don't feel like drinking beer right now. So uh in keeping with the spirit of, of the challenge. I'm gonna have my pumpkin spice cappuccino instead. Uh, this is really good homemade. Now if you guys like go out and get this stuff at um, Starbucks and whatnot, highly recommend trying to make this stuff yourself because it's fun, easy, and um, much tastier if, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna get foam all over myself now. You ready? I'm gonna get foamy. Mm. Just what the doctor ordered. This coffee is pumpkin pie flavored coffee from a local coffee roaster, Morgan Rake. She makes awesome stuff. They have these old vintage um, coffee roasting machines. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they are amazing looking. I mean, they are just beautiful machines. And she roasts all her coffee in those and also actually makes fresh roasted peanuts and does tea and, and other things like that. So, uh, previously I had actually just been brewing coffee in my French press with uh, some pumpkin pie spice, but I decided to give one of her, she has three different flavored, pumpkin flavored coffee beans. One is pumpkin pie, one is pumpkin cheesecake, and the other one is a pumpkin spice. So I went with the pumpkin pie because there's, she actually flavors it with, um, besides the spices and pumpkin, graham crackers to get like the crust of the pumpkin pie and it is you really taste it it's really delicious mm. now for those of you who might be interested in doing this um, you see that foam at the top of my glass for the cappuccino mug um, I don't have any fancy equipment or anything like that what I do is, and you may have seen this video on my channel at some point, what you do is you put whole milk in a little mason jar and you shake it really vigorously for about 30 seconds. Take the lid off, pop that in the microwave, heat it for 30 seconds, and what you have is perfectly heated milk at the bottom and a bunch of foam at the top. So then you just pour the milk in and then you spoon the foam on top of your coffee. And I like to put a little bit of a sprinkle of extra pumpkin pie spice on top. Um, and I also put sugar in the coffee because, frankly, flavored coffee without sugar just tastes weird and not very good. So that's a pretty simple method for doing your, your uh, pumpkin spice cappuccino. Good stuff. Mm. Sorry, I know I keep drinking it, but I can't help it. I really need this <laughs> today. Okay, so um, for this video, now that I've thoroughly bored everyone that came to watch. I have an unboxing. Um, I'm just going to put it in the title so you already know what it is and I already know what it is. But I wanted to do something a little different. I did go to yard sales yesterday and I did find a bunch of stuff and I will make a video for that but since I had like a 30 minute video for yard sale stuff prior to this I want to do something a little different. And um, that is the unboxing of something I ordered months ago. I pre-ordered this basically the day that they announced it, um, or the day it became available to pre-order anyway. And I've been pretty excited about it. In this box sits a large chunk of my October viewing. What do we got? Uh, Some kind of, it's just the invoice. All right. It is the complete Halloween Blu-ray collection. Look at this. Oh man, this thing is loaded up. 15 disc deluxe edition complete collection Blu-rays of all the Halloween movies. I believe there are um, Rob Zombies in there as well. Um, director's cuts, a ton of different features. I'm going to go through this 
uh, with a little overview, but since I was one of the first, I forget if it was a thousand or five hundred or whatever it was, but I was one of the first to pre-order, and I was uh, lucky enough to get the exclusive Halloween lithograph, which was only given to the first certain number of pre-orders, and I honestly can't remember, but like I said, I pretty much jumped on this. Well, I, I was that that hesitant, and I talked to my friend Matt, uh, and he was like, dude, just do it. I was like, alright, let's go, man. So I, uh, I was lucky to get this, I think, because I believe it sold out, the pre-order with the lithograph sold out. Um, if not the first day, definitely the second day, because I remember it going pretty quick. I'm trying to be careful with this, because... Oh, uh, is this taped shut? What is this? Oh, okay. They have paper on there, so it's not completely taped. I'm really glad that they didn't, like, fold this. I know sometimes with Shout Factory and Scream Factory, they will um, send, like, folded uh, prints, posters. So I'm really glad that they kind of went with a, a rolled, protected version here. This is just... Um, this isn't actually tape on the poster, it's taped around with a piece of paper to keep it closed. I want to show you guys this though, I haven't actually seen this yet, so I'm going to take a look. Oh no, I did. I saw, uh, I saw a teaser of it, wow, this is really cool. Oh, outstanding here, let me get you guys, look at that, look at that, Michael Myers is in there. Uh, I didn't really get a very good look at it. He's, he's behind the tree, I think, if I remember. Jamie Lee Curtis's character, I believe, is walking down the road there. Really nice. I love the color of this. Oh, very nice. Who's the artist? I um, really should have paid closer attention to who the artist was. because I would love to tell you guys. I'll put it in the description. I'll look it up. All right, so we have that, which is amazing. I was tempted to sell this, but it's such a good print, and it's atypical of, you know, poster, normal poster size. So I may, I may have to keep it. <laughs> mm. I was expecting something a little different with the packaging. I, I thought it was going to be um, a little different in terms of the box, the outer box. I didn't realize it was going to be like a slip case like that. But I'm going to get in there and just give you guys a little look at what some of the interior pieces look like. Can't wait to bust into this. <laughs> Um, huh. This looks kind of like it comes all... Oh, yeah, look, that's... That's interesting. I don't know what's under there, but this whole piece here... Basically... Alright, let me, let me show you this. Basically, from here... See this Blu-ray part? From there, all the way around... To this spot right there... Is all paper that is kind of just pasted on there. Not pasted, but they use that like, you know, that sticky stuff to hold it on. I don't know what's under there. <laughs> just dumping everything out now. All right, doing very good. I told you, told you I needed that coffee. I don't know what's under that paper and I'm hesitant to take it off because if it's just a, a blank box, if there is like nothing going on under there, I don't want, I'd rather leave it on. Maybe, maybe I'll take a little peek. Let's see. Mm, the top says Halloween. I may, I may take that paper off. I'm not really sure yet. It looks like the box art does wrap around here, though. So, I'll take that off in a sec. First, let's take a look. There's a little booklet that comes with it. It is the booklet with the iconic pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. This has a lot of information in there. Obviously, I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet, so this is just an overview, not a review of the 
of the pack here. Just giving you a little look at some of the stuff in there. So I'm going to take a look at that. I would like to eventually, once I get through the entirety of this collection, which may take me a while, I would like to eventually come back and give it a bit of a review. But as you can see there, again, all the separate DVDs, or Blu-rays, I should say, that are in there. And I'm going to pop one out and take a look at the first release. Oh, that's really cool. You know, the Blu-ray packages are not blue, they're black on this, which is a nice a nice design choice. And the silver of the Blu-ray symbol on there is really a quite, quite cool looking. Um, open this up. Got two discs in there for the first movie. These are not double-sided. Um, I know sometimes with Scream Factory, Shot Factory, they'll do like a double-sided... Uh, design for the Blu-ray, but as I look in there, I notice that there is no secondary design in there, so it is just the one design for the outside. The one that started it all. Got lots of special features on these. I'm not going to read through everything right now because I don't want to make a, a huge video for this. Just want to give you guys kind of a look. Let's take a look at the second one, see if there's any differences, but I'm thinking that it's going to remain true to the first disc design. Again, another two discs in there. Double checking. Again, just a one-sided design. Loaded up with the special features again. Very cool, very cool. Now, I'm gonna dump the whole box out. Give you a look there. And I'll flip through each of the movies. I'm gonna, it's going to go backwards just because of the way I'm holding these, but just so you get a, a look at each of these DVD cases. H2O. What is this? Halloween 6. I'm not actually looking at the front, so it's hard for me to tell. The Curse of Michael Myers, that one is. Uh, Halloween 5. 4. 3. And you already saw the first two there. Here's a little bit of a confession. I've actually only ever seen the first Halloween and the remake from Rob Zombie and part of the second remake so I I'm actually kind of uh, which is surprising maybe for to find out because I love Halloween but holiday so much you'd assume and being a horror fan and everything you might assume that I would be a huge fan of this franchise but frankly I um, I enjoyed the first one but I just never got around to really watching any of the other ones so I am taking this paper off the box just to see what's going on underneath Okay, yeah, you know, I am going to take this off and keep it off because on that is just information. But on the box, we have part of that lithograph, the poster, which is really cool looking. I like that. And on the other side also, you could see that. But. And on the top, it just says Halloween. So really nice collection. I can't wait to really get into it and watch some of these movies and let you know about the special features read a little bit more in the little booklet that came with it and uh, I'm gonna have to get this framed so hope you enjoyed the overview and unboxing of the Halloween Blu-ray collectors set complete collection uh, I will like I said hopefully come back with some more of a review stuff for it have a good one I'll be back again with another yard sale video have a great Sunday. Enjoy it.